Olympics, running for America, basketball for America, break dancing for America. You think these Negroes are going to give up being an American citizen for some reparations? You think they're going to give up their snow bunny privilege? You think they're going to give up white women for rep? You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. You people are... Black men are not giving up. Black women are not giving it up. Black women is not giving up their citizenship for reparations. They love white America. They dress like white women. They wear their hair like white women. Y'all not giving up y'all citizenship for no money. Y'all not giving up no reparations for no money. Y'all not giving up y'all citizenship for no reparations. If the white man said, I'm going to give you this money, but y'all got to get the hell up out of here. Y'all not leaving? You would say, Massa, I'm so sorry, Massa. Don't make me go back to Africa. I'm a pretendian. Massa, I'm a pretendian. I'm not from Nigeria. I don't come from Ghana. My ancestors ain't from Cameroon. I don't come from Kenya. I don't come from Togo. I'm a pretendian. I'm a Cherokee, I'm a Choctaw, I'm a Seminole, I'm a Chickasaw, Massa, don't make me go back to Africa, I'm not from Africa. The bulk of black America is not leaving America to receive reparations. You are too Europeanized. Your self-esteem is too low. Two one five nine eight nine nine eight five eight. You want to text me a question? Two one five nine eight nine nine eight five eight. You want to text me a question? Two one five nine eight nine nine eight five eight. You want to text me a question? Two one five nine eight nine nine eight. You could be a listen, pretendians. Let, I got news for you, pretendians. I got news for you, pretend. Let me get this right. They got the migrants taking over. They got the Ukrainians taking over. They got the Afghani's taking over. Kamala Harris is about to initiate. An East Indian takeover. Let me get this right. You got the Ukrainians taken over in America. You got the Afghan refugees taken over in America. You got the migrants taken over black America. And the pretendians think they're going to get special attention from the U.S. government. You need a psychological evaluation. I'm about to come give you a free psychological evaluation. If you think so, you really think Kamala Harris and George Bush. You really think Kamala Harris and George Bush has pretending concerns on their list of priorities. Who believes Kamala Harris and George Bush has the word pretending anywhere on their list of priorities? Who believes that? Who believes Kamala Harris or Donald Trump? has the pretendians listed as a concern on their campaign agenda. Let me finish my predictions and then I get to y'all questions. We, we gonna stop at three o'clock because I gotta get up and go to the malls tomorrow, brothers and sisters. I gotta find me something. Anybody wanna have lunch with me tomorrow? Anybody want to have lunch with me tomorrow? Anybody want to have lunch on Dr. Umar at the Greenbrier Mall? Anybody want to have lunch on Dr. Umar at the Lenox Square Mall? Anybody want to have lunch with Dr. Umar at the Camp Creek Marketplace? Okay, let me finish. Atlanta, Georgia, I'm in the building. Atlanta, Georgia, I am in the building. Next... Ifatunde prophecy. 
Listen to this. Since American Africans have prioritized multiculturalism and colorblindism as strategies for inclusion, we will get exactly what we want, but not the result we hope for. James Baldwin's book, Invisible Man, will prove prophetic once America completes its marginalization campaign against blacks. Here's my 10th and final prophecy. Here's my 10th. I want to have a group lunch tomorrow with my sisters. I'm not going to do a one-on-one. -on -one. I want five queens. Let, let, let's do a group lunch with five queens tomorrow. Naturally born, organically African queens. A fudge queen, a caramel queen, a cinnamon queen, a lemon queen, and a mixed race queen. Can't forget the mixed race queens who identify as African. Can't forget the mixed race queens who identify as African. We might got to squeeze a Latino African queen in there too. Here's my 10th and final prophecy. I don't need to have lunch with the brothers right now. I said queendom. What I want to look at y'all for right now. Anyway, brothers, we're going to build up. We got to build, brothers. Me and the brothers don't need to be having lunch. We need to be building institutions. Why am I having lunch with men for? We supposed to be building institutions. Why am I having lunch with men for? We supposed to be building schools. We supposed to be building hospitals. We supposed to be building banks. We supposed to be building supermarkets. We supposed to be building affordable homes. We supposed to be building distribution and manufacturing. We supposed to be building industries. What the hell I want to have lunch with some men for? Men are supposed to be building with each other. Not lunching with each other. We supposed to be building with each other. My 10th and final prophecy, and I'm going to take a few text message questions. My 10th and final prophecy, and then I'm going to take a few text message questions. We're going to stop at 3 o'clock. I had a long day. I need to get some sleep. Once most, this is important. Listen to me. Listen to me. Once most American Africans completely disident dis disidentify from their race. Once most American Africans completely disidentify from their race by way of the U.S. Census, biracial, multiracial, pretendian, so forth, the number of blacks in America will begin to appear misleadingly so low that we will not have enough of us on paper to demand anything. Did y'all hear what I just said? Did y'all hear what I just said. Did y'all hear what I just once black people keep checking multiracial, biracial, pretendian, and other on the US census? The numbers of black people are going to get so low because most of y'all want to be pretendians and biracials. Since most of y'all want to be pretendians and biracials. Since most of y'all want to be pretendians and biracials, our numbers are going to continue to shrink so low, so low that it will look like there's no black people left in America. And you know what's funny? The same Negroes who want reparations are the same Negroes claiming that they are not black people. The same Negroes who want reparations are the same Negroes claiming to be pretendians and Native Americans and biracials. So you know what's going to happen? They're going to say, we're going to give reparations to all American Africans. And they're going to look at the census and say, we don't have any American Africans. We have biracials and pretendians. And since all we have is biracials and pretendians, we don't need to give nobody no reparations because we don't have no more African-Americans. We don't have no more American Africans. We have a country of biracials and pretendians. So there's no need for reparations. They were already here. They were not enslaved. So we don't owe them shit. They were already here. They were not enslaved. So we don't owe them anything. So you pretendians are a big part of the problem. You hate being African so much that you didn't 
made up this artificial, artificial identity, which is contributing to genocide on paper, statistical genocide, statistical genocide, statistical genocide. Let me see if we got any questions. We got 15 minutes. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed, brothers and sisters. Let me see. Wait a minute. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Whew. Any questions, family? Uh, no question. I just want to say hi and thank you for all you do for the community. Thank you, Sister Tiasha. Thank you, Sister Tiasha. <laughs> Get out my text messages, fellas. Stay focused. Do you think it's best that we go back to Africa like Marcus Garvey said? Do you think that's the only way to get equality? Okay. Okay. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey never said we should all go back to Africa. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey never said we should go back to Africa. <laughs> Lusty text. <laughs> the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey never said we should all go back to Africa. He said only those of us who have something to contribute to Africa, only those of us who have something to contribute to Africa should go back to Africa. We are a global people. We can remain a global people, but we have to build up Africa strong enough so she can protect us wherever we are in the world. That is the point of Pan-Africanism. You need your ancestral homeland to be strong enough to protect you in America, strong enough to protect you in England, strong enough to protect you in the Caribbean. You can live wherever you want in the world, but we must make Africa strong enough to protect us wherever we are. Dr. Umar, I always wanted to ask you this, but if you only have one black grandparent, are you still black? If you only have one black grandparent, are you still black? If you only have one black grandparent, that is what you call a quadroon. Amber Rose is quadroon. Kamala Harris may be quadroon. I do not disqualify quadroons from being members of the African race if they psychologically have identified as African their entire life. I'm not going to automatically disqualify a quadroon from being African if they have psychologically identified with us their entire life. I have met quadroons who are darker than black people with two black parents. I have met Africans with one black grandparent in the DNA of that one black grandparent was so strong, was so strong. I have met quadroons one black grandparent in the DNA of that one black grandparent was so strong that they look darker than me. I will not automatically disqualify a quadro, but in a case of a Scamela Harris, in the case of a Scamela Harris, she has never identified as being African only when she ran for vice president. And some people are claiming that her father's mother is not an African Jamaican. 
Some people are claiming that Kamala Harris's paternal grandmother is not Jamaican African, that she's East Indian African. Excuse me, that she's East Indian Jamaican. I'm going to do some research. The question is, is Kamala Harris's father's mother, is Kamala Harris's paternal grandmother a Jamaican African or an East Indian Jamaican? Is Kamala Harris's paternal grandmother a Jamaican African or an East Indian Jamaican? The only person, the only grandparent she has who might be black is paternal grandma is paternal grandma so we have to find out if Kamala Harris's paternal grandmother is she a Jamaican African or an East Indian Jamaican if we find out that Kamala Harris's paternal grandmother is not a Jamaican African then she's not African at all Me and Drake going to have a conversation when I get to Toronto, October 5th and 6th, because Drake hasn't clarified his racial identity yet. So I'm concerned about Drizzy right now. Call me after the live. Who want me to call them after the live? One of the queens want me to call them after the live, brothers and sisters. Do you think Caucasians will eventually get breeded out? I think that's why they want to stop abortions. Okay. Caucasians are not being breeded out. They're simply not being, they're not breeding enough. But because of the bunny hop, because of the bunny hop, we keep on injecting them with enough melanin to keep their species going. Because of the bunny hop, we keep on injecting them with enough melanin to keep the species going. The inbreeding is keeping them afloat. Black men keep on injecting them with just enough melanin so they're not going nowhere. We won't let them go nowhere. We love them. We are in love with them. USA, United Slaves of America. It's two USAs. You got the United States of America and you got the United Slaves of America. USA for black people is United Slaves of America. When I catch you with that flag, when I catch you at the Olympics, you ain't United States of America. You are United Slaves of America. I love you too, Serafina. Sweden is coming up in September with my Swedish Africans. Australia coming up too. Next question. You forgot to mention the untouchables. Well, the untouchables already control everything. I'm not a pretendian, but I love to dine with you the next time you in Phoenix. And don't lick your lips like that. My beautiful African queens of Phoenix. Where my Phoenix queens at? Where my Phoenix, Arizona queens at? I'm going to have to come on back to, to Phoenix right now. I'm going to have to come on back to Phoenix one time. Dr. Umar, how come Africa still let whites rule? Even though they are a minority. Why you let white people run your community? See, what I don't understand about the American African. What I don't understand about the American African. We ask questions like, why does black Africa still let white people control the resources? Why are you still letting Chinese people control your community? Why are you still letting white people control your You're acting like we're doing any better than black Africa. 
all black communities in the world are ran by nine black people. Let me say it again. All black communities in the world are ran by nine black people. How the kettle going to call the pot black? How the pot going to call the kettle black? White people running Africa, white people running black America. What is the difference? What is the difference? You want me to call Suki Hana? I'm not calling Suki Hana at three o'clock in the morning. I'm not calling Suki Hana at three o'clock in the morning. Big Blueberry Lemonade. Will you be coming to Louisville, Kentucky anytime soon? I got to get back to Louisville. It's been a minute. I got to get back to Louisville, Kentucky. I got to get back to Owensville, Kentucky. I got to get back to Lexington, Kentucky. Dr. Umar needs three wives. That's what I'm talking about, sister. That's the type of sister I want to hear from. She said, I need three wives. She said, I need three wives. Do you have a three wife team ready? Do you have a three wife team ready? Give up the Sukihana. Please come to the Caribbean. I will be in Costa Rica, 16th to the 18th, Nassau, Bahamas. I'm ready for Nassau, Bahamas. I'm ready to come back to the Bahamas for a third time. I'm ready to come back to the Bahamas. I didn't say, she said I need three wives. One of the black queens on the feed said I need three wives. What you getting mad at me for? You can have three wives because I will not be one of them. I need to be part of that three wife team. <laughs> the queens is pulling up in the text messages. The Queens is pulling up for the three wife club. How do you feel about Haiti being taken over by the gang leader? Listen, those gangs in Haiti are being financed by white corporations. Nobody's going to make me think anything other than that unless they're taking care of the people. If they're not taking care of the people, they're being financed by white corporations. Don't be fooled. Do you believe Booker T. Washington is a coon because he wanted blacks to conform? I don't think he wanted blacks to conform. Booker T. Washington told the white man what he wanted to hear while he was building black institutions. Booker T. Washington told white people what they wanted to hear while he was building the National Negro Business League. Booker T. Washington told Caucasian Nation what they wanted to hear while he was financing civil rights lawsuits on behalf of black people. Booker T. Washington told white people what they wanted to hear while he was using Tuskegee Institute as a hideout for revolutionary blacks. You got the study pan-Africanist Booker T. Washington. You got the study pan-Africanist Booker T. Washington. You got to study Pan-Africanist Booker T. Washington. She said, ain't nothing wrong with the three wives building together. Uh-oh. Let me find out I'm going to get three wives tonight on my text messages. Let me find out I'm having lunch in Atlanta tomorrow with my three-wife club. Lord have mercy. We about to take over black America. Give me three queens dedicated to the struggle. Give me three queens dedicated to the struggle, I will remake black America. Give me three queens. Give me a three-wife club and we will take over black America. Who wants to be on the three-wife club? This is not about Punani. This is about black power. This is not about Punani. This is about black power. Give me a three-wife club. I got one already. I got one wife, Savannah, Georgia, says she Savannah, Georgia, says she in for it. 
I got one wife. Savannah, Georgia says she wants part of the three wife team. So we got a Georgia queen that already stepped up. Go to bed, beloved. You have five minutes to get in the bed. Your thoughts on Donald Trump about Martin Luther King and him having the same amount of people at their respective disposal. I didn't hear Donald Trump's comment on MLK. I didn't hear Donald Trump's comment on MLK. Let me see. Trump compares his January 6th crowd to the audience and I have a dream speech. He said he had more people than Dr. King. Oh, give me a break. Hold on. Nobody has spoken to crowds bigger than me. If you look at Martin Luther King when he did his speech, his great speech, you look at our same real estate, same everything. Same. Uh, he's a clown. Donald Trump is a clown. Donald Trump is an absolute clown. He not getting my vote either. Comparing himself to Dr. King. Doc, I'm a corner boy and I'm going to be at the Linux Mall protecting you. Thank you, my brother. Shout out to all the corner boys who be holding me down across the country. Thank you for answering my question, but at what point is somebody not black? If you have one black great grandparent, now I'm not including them. I stop at the, I don't do, I don't do octoroon. I don't do one black great grandparent. That's too much. No, no, no. I might do one black grandparent. I'm not doing one black great grandparent. That's an octoroon. Now you're getting into the white man's one drop rule. Now you're getting into the Neanderthals one drop rule. I'm not doing the one drop rule. I'm not doing the one drop rule. I'm not doing the one drop rule. I might accept one black grandparent. I'm not accepting one black great grandparent. That's the one drop rule. We're not doing that. We're not doing the one drop rule. I want to get involved in Pan-Africanism. Who should I be linking with in New Orleans? St. Louis Queen, wifey number two. So we got a wifey in Savannah. We got a wifey in St. Louis. We got a wifey in Savannah. We got a wifey in St. Louis. <laughs> Savannah, Georgia says she wifey number one. St. Louis says she's happily wifey number two. You said James Baldwin, but I thought it was Ralph Ellison who wrote Invisible Man. Thank you for the correction. Thank you for the correction. It might have been Ralph Ellison who wrote Invisible Man. I stand corrected. Let me see. Thank you for the correction. Yep, Ralph Ellison wrote Invisible Man, not James Baldwin. My apologies. Thank you for the correction. I love an intelligent African. I love an intelligent African. Thank you for the correction. I love an intelligent African. It was Ralph Ellison who wrote Invisible Man. Volunteered to be wifey number three from Nassau, Bahamas. Brothers and sisters is getting crazy at three in the morning. Brothers and sisters is getting crazy at three in the morning. We got a Bahamas wifey number three. We got Savannah wifey number one, St. Louis wifey number two, Bahamas wifey number three. What y'all want me to do, family? What y'all want me to do? I'm going to have to have a Zoom with the three wifeys. <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> she said, go to sleep. What up, Doc? Will you be doing any speaking in Atlanta? I'm not speaking. My flight to London. We missed the London flight, so I got to fly to London tomorrow. I got to fly to London how much are the interviews? You got to text me for that. I have a white boyfriend who loves you and really agrees with you. Is he accepted into Pan-Africanism? 
I beg your pardon. You're given your yoni verse. You are letting Caucasian nation swim in your sacred waters and you want me to be accepting of that because he happens to be a fan of my work you have completely violated the code of pan how dare you spread your thick voluptuous thighs open up your peach cobbler for the Caucasian to uh, I, uh, uh this is ridiculous it's ridiculous out here let me see hello dr umar hope everything is well i'm a young 28 year old pan-africanist i believe you'll be one of the main people in the world to understand my unquenchable thirst for knowledge history science of culture we desperately need an african world meeting i've obtained so much knowledge i can't hold it yes young king we will be working together soon young king i'm going to have a young pan-africanist conference under 30 a young pan-africanist conference will you be in san diego anytime soon i don't have san diego on the calendar but i will reach out to queen mother makeda of the world beat center in san diego i don't have san diego on the agenda but i will reach out to queen mother makeda of the world beat cultural center in san diego and see if we can set something up. I ain't seen my San Diego family in the. I just got an invite for Richmond, California. I never spoke in Richmond. I just got an invite for Richmond, California. Dr. Umar, how come Africa. Oh, wait a minute. Kamala says she can't do nothing for blacks unless it benefits everybody. And y'all still want to vote. For, my mom is fully black. My dad is 50% black, 50% white because his dad is black. Am I African? Of course you're African. Of course you're African. You just gave me a 75% mix. Of course you are African. If you psychologically identify. Do you psychologically identify as African? I'm going to have a Zoom meeting with my St. Louis wife, my Savannah, Georgia wife. And my Bahamas wife. Can these women, oh Lord, behave, ladies, behave, behave, behave. You already know I'm wife number three, my birthday coming up, and I will soon be age eligible. I already gave you my wifey resume. Okay, so we might got to do four wives. The four wife club. Isn't there a sitcom called The Four Wife Club? Ain't Jilly from Philly? Isn't there a mini series called The Four Wife Club or something? Phoenix says she's the third wife. So we're going to have five wives. We got a Phoenix wife, a Philly wife, a Savannah, Georgia wife, a St. Louis, Missouri wife, and a Nassau, Bahamas wife. We got the five wife club i'm going to have a private meeting at the frederick douglas marcus garvey academy for the five wife club i would like to be one of your wives i make ninety eight thousand dollars a year And I'm five, five thick in the thighs. I hate the fact my skin is so high yellow. I'm very insecure about it. I battle with social anxiety. My mom is fully black. Listen. The colors of the red, black, and green flag has red at the top. Because your blood makes you African, not the amount of melanin in your skin. Your blood makes you African, not the amount of melanin in your skin. 
Your blood makes you African, not the amount of melanin in your skin, my sister. Don't be insecure because you're light skin. Don't be insecure because you're bright skin. Don't be insecure because you're pale skin. Don't be insecure because you are albino. You are still African. You are still beautiful. You are still my sister. We come in all colors, all shades, and none are any better than the other. Your status in the African race is not due to complexion. Your status in the African race is not due to skin tone. Your status in the African race is not due to how much melanin you have. Your status in the African race is due to how much you do for African people. How much you struggle and sacrifice and work for African people. That's where the status comes from. You are a beautiful African lemonade queen. A beautiful African pina colada queen. Be proud of that. Your auntie Gwen Jones who lives. Your mother's sister. This must be the wrong text. I don't have an auntie named Gwen Jones. Do you believe the conspiracy theories about MLK wanting to end segregation so he could be with white women? Dr. King did not end segregation. Dr. King did not end segregation. Dr. King did not end segregation. Dr. King fought for the Civil Rights Bill so you could have access to opportunities that were not available in our communities. Let me say it again. I need to go visit Dr. King grave tomorrow. Y'all just gave me something to do tomorrow. Y'all just gave me, I gotta go visit Dr. King grave tomorrow. Dr. King fought for the civil rights bill so you could have access to opportunities that did not exist in the black community. Dr. King never told you to give up black schools. Dr. King never told you to give up black banks. Dr. King never told you to give up black businesses. Dr. King never told you to give up black hospitals and supermarkets. He never said that. He never said that. Stop blaming Dr. King because you love white folks. You just help me out. I disclaim my white side. Am I wrong for that? I don't even use my dad's last name because it comes from a white man. I blame my dad's dad for putting his seed in a white woman. I feel you, but don't hate them. We don't want to be angry and we don't want to hate. But if you want to disassociate from your white relatives because they're racist, by all means, step aside. If you want to disassociate from your white relatives because they're racist, by all means, step aside. If you want to disassociate from your white relatives because they are racist, I have no problem with that. I have no, but don't hate. We don't do hate. That's negative energy. And I don't want you to bind yourself to low frequencies. When you hate in anger reduces your spiritual vibration. And I need you to attract high level ancestors. I need you to attract high level spirit, guys. We're not hating. We're not doing no hate. We ain't hating nobody. We understanding. We categorizing and we moving on. You feel me? We identify, we isolate. I need you to come back to Lansing. No problem. Lansing, Michigan. I'm coming back to Lansing, Michigan. Ypsilanti. Shout out to all my Ypsilanti Africans who came out. I enjoy Ypsilanti. Five, five, thick in the thighs. Baltimore, Maryland, Queen.
three wives in Phoenix. Lord. Whew. They got a three wife club waiting for me in Phoenix, brothers and sisters. They got a whole three wife club waiting for me in Phoenix. Lord. I can't see your comments no more. Why well, I can't see the comments no more? Why do you stop the comments? I can't see the comments. You're a busy man. When is your availability open to have a discussion? I want to see my Pan-African clothing line. I'm starting with the hats. Send me a Pan-African hat, my brother. Send me a Pan-African hat, my brother. I got a big head, though, brother. Make sure the hat got enough bucket space. Y'all be sending me hats with no bucket space. I got a big head, man. And I got a lot of hair on my head. I need some bucket space. I got a black breastfed head. I was breastfed. My mother breastfed me. Have you ever visited Malcolm's grave? Of course. Why haven't you visited? I'm reaching out to see if I can schedule a podcast. I want to invite you. Do you think Malcolm X had a more positive impact on our people than Dr. King? They both did. I don't want to compare. I don't want to compare. Of course, the Honorable Frederick Douglass and the Honorable Marcus Garvey are uncomparable and untouchable, but I don't want to compare. Does your family also do what you do? No, I'm the only revolutionary Pan-Africanist alive in my family. I'm the only revolutionary Pan-Africanist alive in my family. Nobody else is a pan -Af I'm the only one. Yes, I saw the Malcolm X house. Well, brothers and sisters, that's going to about do it for me, Atlanta. I'm going to hit up the mall tomorrow, find something to wear, go to Dr. King's grave, go have lunch somewhere, get back to the airport and head on over to London, England. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Hang out in Atlanta in the day, head over to London at night, hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school, hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Send your resumes, FDMG resumes at gmail.com. There will be a paint day, September 1st and 2nd, the final paint day. Who's coming to the final paint day? September 1st and 2nd, 9 to 5, followed by a family dinner. September 1st and 2nd, FDMG paint day, Wilmington, Delaware, 9 to 5. Followed by family dinner. If you need to reach me, 215-989-9858. King Kong is in the building. One love.